Hey, aloha everyone. Michelle with Blossom Inner Wellness and StandTogetherHawaii.com. Uh, StandTogetherHawaii.com. I'm going to make two phone calls. I've been ma I already made two phone calls to, there's four senators that supported House Bill 525 that is for the central bank digital currency. Now, this bill will allow the government to track your money, to program your money, and uh, there was one other thing, but regardless, it's going to take away your freedom of, uh, of buying things that you want to buy. And we had 708 of us op oppose it. One person actually supported it, but in their testimony, they were opposing it. So I'm calling it opposing 708 people. Zero people supported this bill. Zero. And four senators said I and passed it. Four. One of them, the only one that said no, nay, don't don't pass this, his name was Ava Brenton. Or actually switch that. Brenton is his first name, Ava, second name, he's a Republican, the only Republican in the whole house, uh, which is a whole nother story uh, that I'm not gonna go into. But there were four other senators. Um, Elefante, Brandon Elefante said yes. Mike Garbard, uh, Gabbard, Gabbard said yes. Um, Carl Rhodes, yes, and Joy San Buena of Aventura. <laughs> Buena Ventura. So I'm going to call the next two on this video. I've already called two of them. And what I'm going to say is I'm going to tell them the House bill. I'm going to tell them I want to call back because I want to know why these senators supported a bill that over 708 people opposed. Who are they working for and why? Why are they going against the will of the people and against their constitutional oath, the oath they took of office to support and uphold the Constitution and support the people? So I'm going to do this right here on video so you guys can watch and you can do it as well because we have a right to contact these people. They work for us. We are their bosses. They do not work for the government. They work for the people and we can have the right to call them. So I'm calling Carl Rhodes. And I hope this, you can hear this. And I'm staying calm. I'm staying grounded. And the cool thing is if they don't answer, you can leave a message. Hello, you've reached Carl Rhodes, state senator from District 13. No one's available to take your call right now. Please leave a message. So I'm going to leave a message. Aloha, my name is Michelle Melendez. My phone number is... And I'm calling to um, ask you to please return my phone call because I would like to know why you supported House Bill 525, the central bank digital currency bill that would make, uh, that would um, basically make our money... Um, uh, um, oh gosh, it would um, support the government to control our money. And I want to know why a senator would say I to a bill where over 708 people opposed it and zero, zero constituents said yes, do this, supported it. Zero. Over 700 opposing. So I would like Senator Rhodes to please call me back. I, I left my phone number. Um, I live on the Big Island. My family's been here for 25 years, and I um, would like to know why. Why? Who's the senator working for? Because he's not working for the people. When over 700 people say, don't do this, zero say support it, and he supports it. I want to know who he's working for, and I want to know why he supported this bill. So please call me back. Thank you. Okay, that was number one. Here's number two. The other two people, I call, senators I called, I actually got somebody and they just took my information down and, um, and, uh, and then um, uh, said they're going to give the message to the senator. If we all do this. This is what we have to be doing as Americans. We've got to stand up for this. This takes, that took one minute, maybe. Aloha, Senator Stanford, office. How can I help you? Hi, Aloha. Um, my name is Michelle Melendez. I'm just so you know, I'm recording this call because I want to make sure that um, that uh, if anything happens, I know that I'm recording this call. My name is Michelle Melendez. I'm on Big Island, and um, my phone number is. 
I'm calling to request that Joy, Senator, um, the Senator calls me back because I want to know why a Senator would support House Bill 525 when over 700 people said no, said op opposed it. I want to know why she would support it. Zero, zero people supported this bill. 700, over 700 opposed it and she supported it. So I want to know who she's working for because it obviously is not the people. And I want to know why she would support something that so many of her constituents said, do not do this. This is not for the people. In my opinion, she has uh, not up, upheld her oath to support and defend the people of these of the of this um, nation and she's not supported upheld her oath to the Constitution so I would like her to call me back okay I can pass this message along uh, to the senator and he said this was HB 525 yes okay okay I will pass this along uh, to senator um, regarding your concerns and then <laughs> Okay, thank you for calling. I would pass this along to the Senator. Thank you so much. Mahalo. Okay, you guys, that's how you do it. So get on the phone. I'm, I've, I'm putting their phone numbers down below um, because we need, to, we need to make them accountable for their actions. Um, there is going to be another, thank God, there's going to be another vote for the Senate, uh, in the Senate, in the House floor. All of us need to be contacting every single one of these senators. There's 27, there's 27 senators. Is it going to take time? Yes. That um, House bill is not up yet, so I don't know the number, because when you call them, you have to give them the bill number. you got to say, this is bill, House bill, or bill number, whatever it is. This is House bill 525. That's the number of the central bank digital currency. A lot of times they won't change the number. They'll just change the first two letters at the, at the beginning. Um, so, but that's what we got to do. All right. It takes time out of your day, but we can do this. This is our Kuliana. And then we know at least it's on record. It's on record. Even if it goes through, it's on record. The people didn't want this. That will make a stance for, for, uh, anything that happens in the future. We'll be able to go on record. This is what happened. 708 of us opposed this bill. Zero people supported it and they passed it. They need to hear from us that that's not okay. Okay, I love you guys. Much aloha.